Hi, this is Patty Ann again, and I'm going to answer a question, hopefully, or give you some food for thought on using 8-2 yarn as opposed to the 22 that is recommended. So if you look down here where it says the 22 pearl cotton is the recommended one, and you go further on down, it says that the warp would be 30 ends per inch. Now you may be wondering, how do they come up with that? Well, I, in the... Um, description of this video down below I'm going to put the link for this uh, yarn master yarn chart if you don't have it already so I'm going to open that now there we go. and this is the a portion of the master yarn chart if you'll notice right here it shows for 20 this is the 22 pearl cotton it shows how many yards per pound you get and then it says there's these three numbers in a row here 30, 36, and 48. The middle number is always the number that you would use in this in your particular yarn that you're choosing on this uh, chart for a balanced weave for, for plain weave for a balanced weave so 36 is what you would choose if you were using 22 pearl cotton and you wanted a balanced plain weave. Well, notice that they chose the 30s. They must want it just a, a little bit looser, probably because of the thick overshot portion and also maybe to make it a little bit more absor absorbent for as a towel, I'm not sure. But anyway, if you're going to switch to 8-2 cotton, you would look down here if it's mercerized, 8-2 pearl cotton. They have the three numbers here. And if we follow the same format, you would use 16 ends per inch instead of the 30. For some reason, I was thinking I would use 20, but it, if I follow the same what they had done here, I would use 16. Here again is something called sampling might come into play. So you may warp your loom and have it set up for 16 and set you know ends per inch and do some weaving there and then cut it off and wet finish it and see how you like it and if you don't like it go with the the 20 so let's just say we're going with the 16 ends per inch let's go back to this so right here it said we are going to use 595 ends Okay, 595 ends. Let's pull up our calculator. 595 ends divided by 16 ends and an inch. This towel would end up being 37 inches wide on the loom, which is not what we want at all. So what you'd need to do is to go back and see how many of the repeats you could subtract so that you get a manageable um, size that you want. And one of the things to keep in mind when you're subtracting some of these uh, repeats is you want to make sure that you don't split a repeat in half or that both sides of your overshot pattern are symmetrical. I have two pictures right here. If you notice this picture on the left, the this is one side, this is one salvage, and this is the other. And notice it's not symmetrical. They've cut off part of this circle over here or added a little bit more than what they needed. Yeah. However, on this bib down here, they were careful to make sure that the uh, pattern was symmetrical, the overshot pattern. So that's just something to keep in mind as you're working. So let's say that you wanted to go to Pixel Loom just to find out about how many ends per inch you're going to have. What you could do is open Pixel Loom, the demo version, and go to Tools, Project Planner. And let's say I want my final piece to be Let's say I'm going to say 18 inches wide and the length 35 because that's what's given in the original information 35. I'm only going to have one on the weft and one on the warp. 
And since there's just one, I don't need to worry about how much room there is between them. I'll hit next. Okay, the width in the read is 20.8 then because when you figure out the shrinkage in the draw-in, if your loom isn't that wide, then you need to go back and adjust your final width. So you go previous and maybe make it the 17 inches and hit next. And there, if you have a 20 inch weaving width, this would now fit. Okay, then I would hit next. And here in this drop down menu where it says warp here, I can choose what kind of um, yarn I'm going to use. And in this case, if I'm going to use 8-2 mercerized, I could put that in. And if my ends per inch is going to be 16, put that in. Next. And again, if I'm going to use 8-2 for this mercerized, there. And I'm going to have 16 ends per inch. All right, this comes up with a project plan, a rough idea. This gives me a starting point. Let the number of warp ends that I'm going to need, according to this, is 315. So let's see, if I pull up my calculator one more time, and I clear this, and I say 315 warp ends, 315 divided by 16 ends per inch equals, so, 19.68, 19.7, almost 20 will be my width. So what I need to do then is play around and see how I can come up with 315 or less ends uh, by subtracting out repeats, like I had done in the previous video. So I hope this helps. Thanks.